What's up, challengers? Welcome to the gym. My name is Gym Leader Geo, and today is 2v Tuesday. So I'm bringing back the oh, my old VGC team that we're all so familiar with right now. I'm going to go over for you guys real quick while we look for a challenger. I'm bringing back the guns out, my Megazard Y. I'm bringing back my Meow Stick. I'm bringing back my Rotom Resto Chesto set, my, uh, my Garchomp, and I have made two big changes. I'm going to go over that with you guys right now while we're setting up the team. So the big change is... Oh, I'll go over it in a second. Adam is bringing a Greninja, an Infernape, a Haxorus, a Swellow, right? Uh, a Mega Pinsir, probably, yeah, definitely, and a uh, Kofigurgus. So, the big changes I made was I, I was feeling like the Aegislash, the White Guard Aegislash, really wasn't doing a whole lot to my team. I thought I was bringing him kind of for a counter for Mega Kanga, but. I would never want to lead with him against a lead Mega Kanga. And I just I felt like he wasn't he was he was all over the place and he wasn't really achieving any sort of purpose that I wanted for him. So I ended up switching him out for I was thinking Mian Xiao who had wide guard, but I just didn't want to risk bringing a high jump kicker to a battle where there's so much protect going on and he kind of needs the high jump kick to really put out really significant damage. He's like, his attack's pretty high, but I don't know. I just, yeah, I felt like he wasn't right for my team. So I ended up bringing a Kinkelder instead. It's not my McSmash set, the Iron Fist Choice Band. It's instead Guts. Um, I'm also bringing my, I, I made a switch to my Mamoswine. He's no longer Life Orb, he's now Choice Scarfed. So, back to this game. What do we think's happening here? Um, two potential leads that we might see here. Uh, the Matte Block Greninja is pretty likely and the Infernape. So one thing I could outspeed the Infernape with my Choice Scarf Mamoswine if he's not Choice Scarf. This is going to be a risk. Here's what I'm going to do. I'll explain in a second why I've chose to, chosen to do it. And I need one thing to take out that pincer. And I think, you know what, Rotom will do just fine for that. So here we go. Bringing it in. The reason I did the lead, I did it. A Mamoswine Meowstic lead. I'm anticipating the Greninja Inferni lead. There are one and two in his party, which I try not to pay attention to, but I think it's also the, a lead of choice because they both have very lead heavy moves, Fake Out and Matt Block. So let's see if I'm right. Greninja, all right, and Haxer. So maybe he didn't end up bringing the Infernape at all, but um, I still am anticipating the Matt Block from the Greninja. Matt Block does not have increased priority. It's based on speed alone. So if I think he's gonna go for it, I can just go for the Fake Out on the Haxorus. And I'm gonna outspeed with my Mamoswine because of my Choice Scarf, I think. Maybe I should check that out, actually. I don't know this. <laughs> Maybe I'm completely wrong. Maybe I should check speed tiers real quick. I'm going to the Calyx. Sorry, guys. Going to the Calyx. Greninja. You are a fast little guy. He's so fast. Mamoswine. Guys, my voice, too. You guys like my, my raspy, raspy, raspy voice? 252. Hmm. Well, I'm running out of time, so I'm just going to go for it. Sometimes you just got to go for it, guys. I could have just gone for an... Now nah, I'm gonna go for the Earthquake. I'm risking the Biscuit on this one. Meowstic goes for the Fake Out. I'm hoping I outspeed. Greninja goes straight away for the Dark Pulse. Oh, so he still does outspeed actually, but going for the Dark Pulse on the Meowstic doesn't take him out. Haxorus flinches. Earthquake coming through. I'm gonna kill my own Meowstic. I'm still okay with that actually. I only really wanted the first turn Fake Out just in case for some shenanigans. Um, Meowstic goes down. I still think I'm in a really good spot for this. Uh, he might switch in the Taylo. Um, Swellow. I don't know why I said Taylo. If I go for the Charizard, the water move is going to mean that the Mamoswine won't take too much damage from a Greninja Hydro. And yeah, you know what? What, they, what else can Greninja really carry that I think I'm worried about on Charizard? I'm not. So I'm going to bring in Charizard. I love this combo when it's on the field. It's so good. It's one of my favorite things. So, going for the Mega Evo. I actually think the Haxorus is going to switch out. And so I'm going to go for the... Yeah, I'm going to do this. 
I think the Hax is going to switch out on the expected Earthquake coming in. I think the Swallow is going to come in. I'm going to hit it super effective with a... Um, oh, man, he's not switching out. Oh, man. I went for the Ancient Power with my Charizard Y. I anticipated a switch there, and I guess I was wrong. But here's the drops. So that's going to weaken any water attacks that Greninja is going to throw out. There's the Hydro. Let's see who it's on. I'm curious. It might not be on the Charizard. He misses anyway. Oh, I feel bad. Um, doesn't quite take out the hacks of Sexist. Outrage. How is he out? Eesh. He must be Choice Scarfed himself, actually. And it lands, it lands on the Charizard and he lives with one health. How? This is ridiculous. Oh, my poor voice. Sorry, guys. You guys like how I'm in a different room again? I feel like I'm always recording in different rooms. I'm, like, totally on the go here. I'm actually in my uh, brother's house in the Sacramento area, and uh, it is hot right now. It is really, really hot, and it's, it's like 7 o'clock, and it's still, I'm sweating right now. Ooh, Cafagragus comes in. Okay. Problematic. The pincer's probably going for a quick attack. Charizard, you're switching out. Oh, but... He's only got one health. If I switch in the Rotom for the Charizard, Mammo's just going to be going for useless, useless Earthquakes. I think the Mammo has to be the one that switches out. But the Charizard's probably going to die next turn. Going for a Protect this turn on the anticipated... Um, quick attack on me, and the Mamo is going to switch out into a Rotom, who won't care too much about the Will-O-Wisp that's coming at Mamma Swine right now from the Cafagrigus. So, in comes Rotom, Charizard protects, there's the Pincer quick attack, Energy Ball, oh my, no he did not, wow! That is some talent. That is some talent he's got right there. Um, the Pinsir didn't Mega Evolve because he wanted the Moxie boost. So he's probably going to go for the Quick Attack again. I could go for the double protect, but it really doesn't matter. The Charizard is going to die. But, Mamo will not die. I don't think, I'm gonna check this out real quick. A non-Mega Pinsir. No, you know what, I'm not gonna check it. I'm just gonna go for it. I'm switching out the Charizard for the Mammoth one. And I'm going to bring a Will-O-Wisp on the Pinsir. My goal here is to take out the Pinsir and then worry about the Cafagragus, because the Cafagragus uh, probably carries the Pain Split. And so there's the unevolved or unmega evolved Quick Attack on the Mamo. Rotom goes for the Will O Wisp, and the Pinsir is pretty much neutralized now. Nasty plot. Wow. Interesting. So he'll probably go for the energy ball now. Actually, I'm in. I'm not in the best spot to be honest. Here I have two options. I could go for the rock slide. Rock slide on the non mega pincer. Jeez, I'm looking this up. Sorry, guys. Rock slide, what do I got? 31 seconds? Yeah, let's do that. Hit enter. We'll actually do more than the Ice Skull Crash, except that it's split damage, but it won't kill. If he Mega Evolves, though, it probably will. I'm going for the Rock Slide. Uh, I'm going to go for the Willow, even though it doesn't really make sense to do that, on the Cafagrigus. He's going to do twice as much this time as he did last time. I actually might rest. Pop off a Resto Chesto on this guy. Oh, he is gonna Mega Evolve. I think now he dies. I think he does die now. As a Mega Pincer to a Rock Slide? Yes, he does. Pincer went for the close combat. He still outspeeds. I have a Choice Scarf. He still outspeeds. Ridiculous. That's okay. 
His defense falls. I need to hit this attack though. And I do on both targets. That's lucky. So the pincer's going down. Thank goodness for that uh, willow hit on the pincer. Otherwise I would have been a dead, 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 dead mammal. And he went for the nasty plot. Here's the thing. I did that so that I would survive this nasty plot as Rotom against the Cathagricus, so I'd buy myself an extra turn. Um, does go for the energy ball. Who did he go for it on? Probably the Rotom. He did go for it in the Rotom, and I do live it. Good. So. I did so little damage. Oh, I didn't hit him at all, did I? No, I did hit him. This Cathagricus is tanky. Tanky, tanky Cofagrigus. I don't, I'm not sure what I'm gonna do to it, to be honest. Um, Cofagrigus. The highest damage move I could hit it with is Earthquake. Rock Slide is just doing about half as much, but if I switch into my Charizard, I'm really losing a lot of time turn wise he's now got a nasty plot set up too so I need to be hitting this guy every turn but honestly this rock slide is just a waste of space I think I think my best move is to switch in the chars how is it waste a turn of damage the chars that's coming in next turn when someone dies it doesn't matter who and you know what I might get I might get a flinch with it oh god I don't know if I ran out of time there or not I went for the Thunderbolt if I did get the click off. I did get the Thunderbolt, good. Probably should have gone for the burn for the damage. Oh, I got the flinch, that's huge. That's gonna help a lot. That is gonna be a really big deal for me going into the next next set here. Um, no, he doesn't have a good pain split target anywhere. Rock Slide's going through. And I think I just need to go for the Thunderbolt. At this point, I know I outspeed, I just gotta keep taking Taking attacks to Cathagrigus, get trying to get as much damage as I can on these next two turns. I think I should be able to kill him with this. And it looks like I do. Okay, cool. So I do pull a win out of that one. That was scary for a second there. I haven't seen Cathagrigus in a while, and he actually put in a lot of work in this battle. So that's a solid one, and I'm keeping you know what guys, this is a... I'm pretty excited because this would be if I make this next battle a win, it'll be 10 and 0 on the channel. And I don't know, that's kind of a big deal. I mean, I know the rankings were reset a couple of weeks ago, and I'm only sitting at uh, 1595 right now. No, I'm not going to save that battle video. It's pretty good, but... Oh, no. I just had a focus issue. There we go. <laughs> good, good, good. I hate autofocus on the cameras, guys. I really do. It is so effing hot here. Holy moly. I am dying. Yes. Takes a while to upload, guys. Do you want to continue battling? Yes, I do. You're about to see on the left there, that's the Faithful Six. Say hi, guys. Say hi. To a beautiful little ah, Fresh. I gotta, I gotta put him in this. I love Fresh, guys. Intimidate and Will-O-Wisp on the same Pokemon is great. I love having that as an option. Broke 1600 on this, guys. I hardly ever do. I pretty much only ever... I do maybe one or two practice battles, and then I'll record for you guys. That's pretty much the only time I ever do 2v2, to be honest. I'm not really... VGC, I really do enjoy it, but... I got a lot to learn, so I still kind of prefer the 6v6s, to be perfectly honest. But we're gonna... We're gonna go for one more battle right here. Let's see if I can... Uh, let's see if I can make this 10-0. That would be a really big deal. 10-0 on the channel. Like, I really like that. I am just, call it nerves, call it nerves, that's why I'm sweating, it's not at all because it's 7.30 and still 95 degrees outside, not at all like that. You guys like my voice too? <laughs> like that? 17.83, that's more like it, New Zealand, oh, a communication error has occurred, thank you. Why would you, oh, that's my fault. It bumps me to this screen, alright guys, so here's what I'm gonna do, no, I'm not gonna do that, I'm just gonna, I'm just gonna let it roll. Yeah, I did lose connection. Sorry about that, guys. I was gonna say I'll just cut this and restart it later, but no, because I want to keep it. I want to keep it. I want to keep it continuous. I want to. You guys can just hang out with me while I'm successfully connecting to the internet, 
joining the battle spot team. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Random matchup, random battle. You guys can just hang out with me. It's fun. It's nice. Listen to the soothing sound. Oh, under my voice. Oh, it's really bad. I should get some uh, hot tea. Hot tea. So this is Faithful Six again. Say hi to Fresh. And challenge. Okay. There we go. Who's this all guy? When I hold him like this, he kind of looks like uh, from where the wild things are, but green. But then if I lift him up a little bit, you see he's, he's got little feet. Got little feet. Okay, he's got yellow eyes. What is with these yellow eyes? On all of my, uh, well this one's not mine, but uh, all of the like stuffed animals I had as kids, whenever I look at them, it's like huge pupil, yellow eye. Why yellow eyes? My poor voice, guys. Tomorrow, I want to put out a 6v6. Did I mention this already? I don't think I did. I think I talked to... I think I talked to my girlfriend about it. I don't think she cared. Uh, I want to bring... <laughs> I want to bring a 6v6 team, and I think I'm going to do Gym Leader Geo Dark type. So if you're interested in seeing that... Oh, man. I keep leaning too far forward, and the focus gets wrong. It has taken a while to search for an opposing trainer. You'd think that people would be online right now. 7.30 or so, like, if you're in school and you're out of school at this point and got, you probably finished your homework, so you're able to play. 14, we go from a 1700 to a 1425. All right, Kevin G, let's see what you got. Please do not dunk on me. All right, he's got a Clawitzer, Mawile, Mega Mawile. Maybe also a Mega Amphor. He's got three potential Megas. The thing is that Mawile is not a threat unless he's a Mega. Ampharos could be. Could be. The Noivern, the Chandelure, and the Gyarados. I'm anticipating that's a bulky Gyar because he doesn't want to be having... He doesn't really want to be bringing three super dangerous... He could also be a Dragon Dancer, though. He doesn't want to be bringing three Megas, though. Really, though, he's got two of them who just aren't strong if they're not Megas. The Ampharos... I don't know what he's going to be bringing. Um, several of these Pokemon are Pokemon that Charizard doesn't want to deal with. Um, Flash Fire on the Chandelure. A Heat Wave won't do too much damage to the Noivern or to the Clawitzer. But the Clawitzer would be um, inclined to stay in and go for the Water Pulse. I know for a fact that does very little damage to the Charizard under the sun. So, there's that. You can make some pro plays if I lead with the Charizard and ammo. I don't need to bring the Charizard at all, is one of the things, but... Garchomp's not safe with the Noivern running around. He's going to outspeed and absolutely take him out. Mamoswine is needed, and I don't really want to lead with him, though. So, well, maybe I do. Maybe you want to lead with him and... I think the Mawile is going to lead out, though. So let's actually... Let's lead with Charizard. I could lead with Rotom. Now, let's bring Meowstic also. Sorry, guys, you're going to see the same lead over and over and over. Gotta bring the Mammo. And let's see, Rotom, I guess. And I made that decision with only five seconds left. What? Dangerous. Kevin G, do not dunk on me, Kevin. Mr. Garnett, if you would kindly not dunk on my face right now. Norvern Chandler. Horrible, horrible start for Charizard. Miserable start. Um, Mega Evolving with the Charizard. I'm going to go straight away for the Ancient Power on the Noivern. The Meowstic. Doesn't need a Safeguard. Doesn't need a Quick Guard. No physical attackers on the field. Gotta go for the fake out on the Noivern. Here we go. Let's try and take this Noivern out right quick. RQ, if you will. Because then I don't need to feel like I need to bring ice attacks on Mamo because the rest of his team just kind of doesn't really worry too much about the ice attacks. So Sunlight turned harsh. Now he goes for the fake out and Noivern, you're gonna miss your turn. 
Chandler, I'm anticipating probably a ghost up attack on the Meow Stick, because he's going to want to hit super effective, but it's not going to do all that much. Noivern doesn't get taken out from that, unfortunately. Shadow Ball, probably on the Meow Stick. Yeah. And that'll be a two hit. I actually kind of wish it would have killed him. I really do wish it would have killed him. Shoot. He's gonna go for it again. I'm thinking specs. That's specs damage, I feel like. Norman's gonna outspeed. I don't think he's gonna kill Mega Charizard with that outspeeded attack, though. Um. Poor Meowstic. Got pretty much nothing left, though. Um. I could switch in the Rotom. He would take not too much damage. I don't want to give the Noivern too many attacks, though. I need to attack with this Charizard and to just hope that I don't. No, you know what? I'm gonna protect with the Charizard. And the Meowstic switching out for the Rotom. Rotom's coming in. Because I think he can take a Specs. This could be a huge mistake. I probably should have just let the Meowstic go down. But there are some physical threats later that I'm going to want to take care of. Charizard goes for the Protect. Tailwind. Oh, man. No. Big issue www.bigissue.com with the tailwind ish. Uh, let's go for the I popped out my move. Noivern Super Fang on the Charizard. Uh, maybe the Shadow Ball on the Energy Ball on the Rotom. Rotom's dead. So that's not Specs damage. What is he? How is he doing so much damage? Hopefully this kills the Chandelure. It doesn't. Focus Sash? Yeah, it's a Focus Sash. Son of a gun. Thunderbolt's gonna take out the Noivern. Neutral damage. Um, someone's coming in and they're gonna be fast. Fast, fast, fast. Gyara comes in. Super fast Gyara. With the Intimidate, that doesn't mean anything to me. So given that we haven't seen a Mega yet... Hmm... Where am I going to go down this turn? Kiara is going to go for... Stone Edge maybe on me? Let's go for Protect, kind of scout him. Hopefully he doesn't start setting up on me. Um, there's not a whole lot I can do here. He's going to outspeed me on the rare chance that he doesn't. Let's hit the, refer the rest on the Rotom, but he's going to outspeed. We've got to kind of try and kill some of this, some of these Tailwind turns. Um, there's the Shadow Ball on the Rotom. The Rotom's dead. And let's see what the Gyar is doing. I'm really curious about the Gyar. I'm kind of trying to learn to set the Waterfall straight up. Not too worried about that. Um, what can Meowstic really do? Meowstic will come in, fake out the Gyara, get something, get something done here. Save ourselves some turns. I need to kill the Chandelier, to be honest. I also need to... Hmm. I'm kind of in a hard spot, because Charizard puts out some like pretty beast amounts of damage, but I really, I would hate to let the Chandelier live and just keep putting out as much damage as he's, as he's doing right now. It's kind of ridiculous, um, but I need to kill that Gyarados, or at least put some work on it. He's just going to be going, for, he's going for Waterfall. Hmm. Let's go for the Chandelure. Let's go for the Fake Out on the Gyara. Let's see who the Chandelure is going to decide to go for. Shadow Ball on what? The Charizard? Yeah, Charizard. Charizard lives with two! Oh, that's huge. That is so huge. Oh, man, because I can protect next turn. Maybe I'll get some... 
Let's get some boosts right now. 10% chance. I'd love some boosts. Nope. Sunlight fades too. Kind of a big deal. Tailwind petered out. That's huge. That's what I was waiting for. Mawile comes in. Sucker Punch coming probably. I am fearing the Sucker Punch. Uh, they're going to want to kill this guy, uh, the Charizard. I'm going to go for the Protect on the Charizard. And I'm going to Charm. Who's the bigger issue here? Mawile is the bigger issue. Oh man, I am weak though. I am weakened with my Rotom gone. And these two Pokemon are kind of not going to agree on what type of damage my choice scarfed Mamo is going to want to put out. So there's the Charm. There's the Sucker Punch from the Mawile. There's the Waterfall from the Gyara on the Ma Meow Stick. Okay. Mamo's gonna come in. I am in a pickle. I think I need to. I think my Charizard de or my Mamos one has no choice but to go for the rock slides because. Yeah. I have no choice but to go for these rock slides because I need to be able to hit both of them. The Charizard might go down this next turn. But he might go for the Iron Head on the Mamo. While Gyara goes for the... No, I think he's going for the Sucker Punch again. I'm going to go for a Double Protect. Mamo, you're going for the Rock Slide. Let's see what happens. Charizard fails to protect. Mawile fails the Sucker Punch. Rock Slide. Jar's probably going for the Waterfall, I'm assuming, on Mr. Swine. Waterfall. On the Charizard. He went... He double attacked the Charizard. Interesting. But unfortunately, that does mean that this is probably going to be game because of how little damage that did to the Mawile. It's just... There's no... So... Gonna go for it anyway, gonna go for the Rock Slide. It'll probably take out the Gyara, but the Mawile, this is a, uh, unfortunately it's a lost cause as the Iron Head is gonna take me out for sure. Gyarados goes down, and unless I flinch this guy to all hell, there's no chance of the, there's the Iron Head. Poor Mamo. Bye-bye. Oh, I live. That's nice. But here we go, guys. We are going to need... <laughs> There's the Sucker Punch. Emma was trying to get taken out. So, first loss in 2v2. First Road to Ranked loss... I'm sorry, that's a Shady Penguin quote. My bad, guys. Um, first Ranked 2v2 loss on the channel. But I don't feel too bad about it. Uh, the guy played really well. Played really well. Beat me. And, oh, man. He was only like 1,400, wasn't he? I feel really bad about that. No, I don't feel really bad about that. Maybe everyone's got to start somewhere, guys. Everyone's got to start somewhere. Thank you guys for stopping by. Um, I'm going to leave you guys links an in the annotation down below to my Twitter. Um, if you guys are interested in battling me, maybe tomorrow, for example, I'm going to put out a tweet for you guys if you guys want to be, if you're interested in battling Gym Leader Geo in a 6v6, I'm going to put that out on the Twitter. Um, please like, favorite, subscribe if you guys can. It'll help a lot for getting some, um, to get this video and my channel in general sort of shared out in the community so that more people are kind of seeing my videos. I have a lot of great ideas for the channel, but I need more um, support from the community and I need to, I'm really interested in doing some collabs with other Poketubers, but it's not really worth their time to record a video with someone who has so few viewers. So please help make my channel grow. I'd really appreciate it, guys. As always, my name is Jim Leader Geo. You guys are the challengers. Thanks for stopping by and I'll see you guys next time.